Kent County Past and Present gives you the next edition of Free Bird Friday. This week we are located at the Kmart Shopping Plaza adjacent to Spring Lake. Kmart Plaza was a pretty significant plaza when I was growing up. We had many stores such as Radio Shack, Kmart obviously, we had Almax, Hallmark, Chinese Restaurant, Fantastic Sam's, Quest Plus, many other little shops that were located inside here. Currently the only thing existing would be the Citizens Bank drive up ATM. Now where you see the the Burger King, Burger King was built on a site that was formerly known as Roto's, I believe. It was a mini golf amusement park. Behind the Burger King, you see a wooded lot area. Stories go that you can still see on site, if you walk through those trees, the remnants of the golf course and some uh, artifacts inside there. I haven't seen any of that in this flight. Now up in the distance you've seen the job lot building, which is job lot uh, tractor supply. That area was formerly known as Finn's Junkyard. Walmart had come in maybe in the 90s. I was still in high school, so I'd say the 90s, around 92 to 93. And Walmart purchased the junkyard, they cleaned up the land, built the building, and they were here for quite a few years before moving on to the center of New England. Uh, Spring Lake was a big area off of uh, Tyoke Avenue, and you'll see some photos of a big mill that was a replacement mill, but the mill was located on the grounds where uh, McDonald's is currently homed. And the uh, Peckham Company had houses in the factory water gates on the site where the McDonald's is today. So keep an eye out for these old photos. You'll see some great photos of the Spring Lake area, of uh, what it looked like then and what it looks like now to give you an idea of where it is that you're looking. So. Feel free to sit back, enjoy the time traveling back in time, and reminiscent of your times that you might have spent here. Leave us a comment, let us know what you remember, if you remember some stores. And also, I'm told that there was a diner on site of the Mini Golf, but I couldn't catch the name of the diner that was there. So if you happen to know, leave us a comment, let us know. I hope you enjoy this short video and some of the classic photos that you see. And let us know if you had any memories of going to this golf course when you were a kid. I'd be glad to hear them. So I look forward to seeing your comments and I'll catch you on the next edition of our Free Bird Friday brought to you by Kent County Past to Present. Catch you on the next one. Bye now.